Namaste und Hallo. We are back with a new lesson. Heute lernen wir Hilfsverben. Today we will learn auxiliary verbs or helping verbs in German. So let's begin. Los geht's. Hilfsverben. Helfen, to help, verben, verbs, right? So let's see what three verbs we have here. First one is sein, to be. Second is haben, to have. Third one is werden, to become. Sein, haben, werden. So these are the three verbs we'll talk about. Let's see sein. So we have three columns here. Personal pronomen, sein, bedeutung. Bedeutung means meaning. Personal pronomen means personal pronouns, right? So we have already studied this. Uh, videos have already been made on these topics. Personal pronouns, regular verbs, irregular verbs, and one video about how to deal with any verb conjugation that you get, right? So all the four videos, the links I will write in the video description. Okay, so don't worry about that. So sein is the verb. Ich bin. Du bist. Sie sind. Er, sie, es, ist. Wir sind. Ihr seid. Sie sind. Sie sind. Right? So the meanings are also written here. Ich bin is basically I am. Du bist. You are. So for you are, you have two answers here. Du bist or sie sind. One is informal, the other one is formal. Okay, this is third person. He is. So you can use er ist. Okay. Similarly, you have all the meanings here. Just be careful when you use in this case ear, it's side. If you know about verb conjugations, you know, okay, for these cases, we add T. But if you add T here, side, S E I T, that is a preposition. That means since. So do not do that. It's side. Learn the conjugations as it is because this is a special case. Sein is not, you know, you cannot see the sign anywhere in the verb conjugations. It's like zind, zind, zin, zin. But for other verbs, like if you take common, machen, you have those verb forms for we are, z, z, and z case, right? But here the case is different. So learn the verb forms as it is. The meanings are here for sign. So basically in English, is, am, are, they are the part of sign. So change it according to the personal pronoun, right? Let's see some. Examples here. So, ish, luke, blank, luke, sein, yara, alt. Answer would be, ish, bin, sein, yara, alt. I am 10 years old. Just an example. Let's see the next one. Minor, familiar, luke, klein. My family, small. So, my family is small, right? Not so many members. So, minor, familiar is klein. Familiar family word. It's a collective noun. Okay. So this is a feminine case singular. So don't get confused here. Z she case, right? That is familiar word here. So don't get confused that, okay, it has, you know, more than one member. So it has to be plural case familiar singular word. Next example. Wo luke deine Eltern. Wer dash your parents. Wo sind deine Eltern? Where are your parents? So sind will come because they case. Let's see the next verb haben. Haben is to have. Same columns here, right? So ich habe, du hast. Sie haben, er, sie, es, hat. Wir haben, ihr habt. Sie haben, sie haben. So these are the verb conjugations here. English has and have so basically you have it here like i have you have he has she has it has the other ones are have so have and has you find it here in haben if you talk about german language right so use it according to the case whatever you have let's see a few examples about it heute luke wir einen besuch today dash v a visit. So we will be having one visitor today basically. Heute haben wir einen Besuch. 
So with Vya, you are using Haben. Rahul, look, kein Geld. Rahul, no money. Rahul had kein Geld. So here you are using er had, he case. Next one is a yes no question. See, ja nein Frage. So first one is verb, verb comes on first position. Look, ihr etwas zu essen? Habt ihr etwas zu essen? So do you have something to eat? Etwas is something. Essen is the verb to eat. Okay. Now we'll have a look at werden verb. See, one column is missing here. Bedeutung, the meaning. Right. Because uh, that would be easy when I explain you with the examples. Ich werde, du wirst, sie werden, er sie es wird, wir werden, ihr werdet, sie werden, sie werden. Right? So just be careful about these two cases, du and er sie es. They are completely different, right? From the actual verb. So just learn them as it is. We have the examples here. So next is Yar Luko ish elf. Next year dash I eleven. So few slides back, we just took one example that okay, I am ten years old. So next year I will be eleven, right? Next is Yar Veda ish elf. You can also write next is Yar Veda ish elf yar alt. That is also okay. 11 years old or 11. It's understood you're talking about the age. Okay. So where I will become 11. Bald, look, we are rich. Bald means soon we rich. So I have used such examples like bald and you are learning new words also. Next is CR. So the vocabulary is also being taken care of. Not just the grammar part, not just the verb conjugations. Bald. Werden wir reich. Here the meaning is soon we will become rich. Soon we will be getting rich. We will have a lot of money. Okay. That's how werden verb is used. Das Essen Luke kalt. The food dash cold. Das Essen wird kalt. So here you are using the single case RZS. Basically S because das Essen Neutrum, neutral case, singular. So with S you use weird. That's why the answer is weird. The meaning is the food is getting cold. The food will become cold. So have it, right? Like mothers say, the food is getting cold. Just have it. Leave your mobile phones. Do not play games. Have your food first, right? So that's what happening here. You also, if I tell you, okay, any verb you can put here, so you can also write ist. So das Essen ist kalt. So that means the, the food is cold. Das ist alles. Jetzt deine Hausaufgabe. Please write one sentence or question for each of the three auxiliary verbs that we have done today in the comments section. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe it and also press the bell icon. Right? See you in the next video. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Namaste und tschüss.